Hi guys, welcome back to Full Body Friday. This week we've got an eight minute workout. We've got some new exercises that are gonna be fun that we can keep doing for quite a while. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna get straight into it with a warm up. If you're on Instagram, the warm up's gonna to be too long, so jump over to my YouTube channel or my Facebook. Link will either be in my descri the description or my bio up above. Hope you enjoy the workout, guys. Here we go. Sure we're gonna start our warm up running on the spot. And then we're gonna go into running with high knees. And heel flicks, heels to our buttons. And we're gonna do like a burpee, we're gonna tuck down, and we're gonna kick out and then back in. We're not jumping at the bottom, at the top we're still jumping. And then we're gonna go into jumping jacks. Pops on the spot. Arms down if you want to, arms up if you want to. And then just run in again. We're going to start circling our arms forwards and going up on our toes and then back down and up. It's good for coordination. We're going to keep going and then backwards. As we circle backwards, we're going to go onto our heels and back onto our heels. We're flexing our toes upwards. Now reach up and over, stretching our trunk, and our shoulder. We're going to do so at the same time as leaning over to the side. Keeping our legs just can't show with the part. We're going to swap to the other arm, to the other side. And hold this shape. Ooh, your head. Now we're going to put one arm out to the side, stretch them round, and we're going to circle our hips at the same time. Should feel the stretch of our inner thigh. And across our tricep and shoulder, of course. Then we're going to swap arms and change directions. Keeping it going. Reaching down to the floor, stretching out our legs. And over to the side, lunging. Feel it right up around the thigh this time. And the other side. We're going to lunge out in front. In our calf now, both feet need to be facing forwards. I'm going to swap legs. Good, and then we're going to come down and we're going to do a low down squat off the top and side. If you want to go back to my first talk on Tuesday, I'll talk about the importance of the warm up. We're going to swap sides. And then out. Once again, off our inner thigh, you can slightly twist in, get it round all the way. And we're going to go down to our little squat position. Just do some little pulses, really stretching out. We're going to sit down and we're going to roll our ankles. Not roll our ankles, just circle our ankles. Change directions. Swap feet. And change directions. Same with our wrists. Circles. We're going to stretch our shoulders out behind us. And we're going to get ready for our first exercise, which is crab pushes. So we're down on our elbows with our feet out in front. And we're going to push our hips to the ceiling. And then go up onto our straight arms if we can. So down to elbows, hips up. And then back up to straight arms. Legs should be just past a right angle. Push it back up and back down. Up. When we do this, we're working our shoulders, our triceps and our glutes as well as our legs as we do the press at the bottom. Push it up, squeeze and hold at the top for a second. Just past 10 seconds left. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You should be able to feel it in your calf a little bit as well. Up and squeeze. And back down. And squeeze. And we're done. We're done. Okay, getting ready for our next exercise. What we're going to do next? In, outs and downs. So we start off in our push-up position. We're going to jump in, out, and do a push up if you can. If not, then you can either go down to your elbows and back up, or you can just keep doing tucks in and out. Getting ready, drink of water if you need to, and off we go. So in, out, push up, in, out, push up. Making sure our elbows are going in and down the sides as we do this. Concentrating and keeping our back straight and flat. Just past halfway. Walks out the top. And 
Getting into seesaws next. So this is an ab exercise, working our lower and upper abs. So we lay down on our back, and Eva, you're just going to lift your upper body up, and then do a leg lift. Or you're going to bend your legs, and you're going to do a sit up crunch, and then just lift your knees up. So get it ready. Off we go. So lifting up and crunch. I'm going to do full seesaw. When we do this, it's important to swing. So let's feet go down first, and then come up. Arms out to the side. But when we do sit up, take them off, don't use them to push you up. We want to aim to use just our abs, not our shoulders or our hands as well. Really isolate the muscle and the movement. And keep going. Nearly done. Oh, see that time I swung? And we're done. Good job, quick break. Get your water if you need to. Remember to stay hydrated. Fluid intake is very important. I spoke about that on the first Talking Tuesday as well. Okay, now we're going into squat pulses. So we squat down, and in this position, we're just gonna bounce up and down, holding that, put it in our glutes and our hamstrings, as well as our quads slightly as well. So we go down, and we're just gonna pulse for 40 seconds, just in this position. You can go lower if you want to. It's quite hard on your knees. And we keep going. Try not to stop and try and keep our back straight. Knees go just over our toes, shoulder width apart. All right, we're going to keep going. Try not to stop just after ten, just over 10 seconds left. Feel it all the way down. We should feel it in our quads now. Loose our hamstrings. Going just over five seconds left. Try not to stop, and we're done. Getting ready for our next exercise, which is turnouts. Best way to show this, we go down and you can either do it in a front support position, so a push up position, and you turn around and then back. You do the same the other way. Or you can do this in plank on your elbows. If you turn to reverse plank and front plank, plank's harder. Okay, off we go. Going into our plank. We're going to turn, hold it for a second, back over, hold, and turn, hold, over. Hold, squeeze over, hold it, push yourself back over. The position we'll get into, we should be holding for a second. If I haven't said hold enough times, keep going. I'm going to get some nice grass stains on my elbows. Careful if you're doing this inside, you don't want carpet burn. You can hold your hips nice and high off the floor, especially the reverse plank picks up. And it's over, back, and we're done. Okay, getting ready for our next exercise. Ooh, we're doing star burpees. It's like we'd normally do a burpee, except we go star jump or jumping jacks. Down, out to a star shape, back in. And then we do our jumping jacks again. Getting ready. Off we go. Star jump, out. Make right, sure we bend down and we get to that top shape before we go out. We don't want to be just jumping straight to our arms. And take care of our joints, especially our elbows and our wrists. Very, very easy to damage. Woo. 20 seconds left, keep going, guys. Woo. This is where most people start to struggle, most people, including me. Woo. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Eight seconds left. Woo. Thank you, Bell. Okay, getting ready. Oh, what are we into next? Oh, front support presses. So we're down in our front support position. We're gonna walk our hands out to the side, back in, out in front, back in, and then in and in. Oh, getting ready and go. If this is too hard, just work on going forwards and backwards rather than out. Practice as well. It's really good for our shoulders and our triceps. Working heavily on our straight arm strength. Keep going, just over 20 seconds left. Try not to stop. Feel the burn and keep going through it. Oh. 
10 seconds left. Come on, guys, we've got this. Fill it in your core as well. And we're done. Finally, going into our last exercise. I'm going to regret putting this one in. We're going into a plank on our elbows, preferably on our elbows. You can do it straight arms if you want, but it'll be harder to really isolate the abs. I'm going to catch my breath. Then we're going to go into it, make sure we have a straight back and squeeze in our core all the way around. And off we go. 40 seconds, this will be fun. We try not to stop for any of these seconds. The vitals try and keep going. There's no bones up in the air. We hips down at the floor. Hold it perfectly in the middle. Good start to feel a burn. If not, your bottom's not quite in the right position. 15 seconds left, guys, nearly done. Keep it going. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Try not to stop. That bell wanted to keep me waiting. Whew. Good job, guys. That's this week's Full Body Friday. Next week, I'm going to be doing a kids' Full Body Friday, so it's one that the whole family can be involved in. Whew. So we're going to get ready, and we're going to go into a quick cool down. This is very simple. We're just going to do some running on the spot. There we go. Just like the warm up, running on the spot. Whoa. Slow down. More jumping jacks. Everything should be slower than the warm up. The warm up is to get our heart rate up and get our muscles nice and pliable, meaning flexible, ready for our workout. And the cool down is just try and bring it all back down safely. So we run no risk of any injuries. We're just gonna rock forwards and backwards on our toes. We can go in and we're gonna circle our shoulders. Personally, I can feel it quite hard in my shoulders and my core. So I'm gonna make sure in my cool down, I focus on them. I'm going to slow down, going a bit fast. I'm going to twist side to side. Not moving our lower body or our hip. Just moving our upper body. It's quite hard to do. <laughs> Coordinate yourself. So we're going to go into windmills. One hand to the floor. Nice and slow. Swapping sides. And our hips are going to push our belly up to the ceiling, push it out, and then push down out in front, keeping our back flat and our arms out to the sides. And we're done. Heart rate starts to come back down, nice and healthy. Try not to now just sit down, try and stay on your feet for a little while. Make sure you get a nice drink of water, refresh ourselves, maybe eat something if you need to. Good job, guys. Have a nice weekend. I'll see you back on Monday for a late. Lakes Muscle Monday, then we've got Talking Tuesday next week. If you saw my Talking Tuesday this week, you'll know that I'm going to be doing more mindful stuff. So we're going to talk about mental health within the fitness world, along with a mindful internal workout on Thursday. If you missed Thursday's workout yesterday, it was internal health focusing on arthritis and osteoporosis in our knees and ankles, as well as our toes, which is our tarpals, making sure we're staying safe. Good job, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I won't see you tomorrow. I'll see you at the end of the weekend, Monday. Good job.